not as much for the D-line, not as much for the secondary, but more importantly, uh, Casey and Pace, who were big veteran guys, and I hate to keep putting this on these guys. I mean, right now we're playing with two guys that have played any extensive football at all on the inside backer, and that's Stucky and, and Alonzo, and neither one of them were starters last year. And with Clay out now, you know, there's all rookies. It's redshirt freshman to freshman, so there's a learning curve that goes along with that. Um, our job, my job, is to give them confidence, love them up, teach them, coach them better so that they can feel more comfortable and that they can feel good about themselves. We're going to love them up. We're going to love them hard, but we're going to love them up and try to make sure that they can gain more confidence because we're going to need them down the stretch. And uh, it was good because they basically played a whole half of football today. So, you know, that's always good. How about Rodney Hardrick? You know, what was your assessment of his play today? I was asked that earlier, AJ. I thought that, you know, this week I thought he had a great week of practice, and I see where he made three tackles, two for losses, and I, I saw him make some strides this week in practice. So it would be interesting to watch the film. Uh, I think he got better this week. So that's encouraging because we need him to. Yeah. How did Cliff look in his uh, duty of alternating there in the second half, I think? Can you sort of look at him and go, here, you know, is he ready to, to I didn't watch more? him that close, to be honest, with, honest with you, Jason. I, I'd be just kind of trying to give you an answer that from way out here. How about from practice, and do you feel like this kid can uh, give him more playing time? Can he's, return to form, kind of? He's, as I said before, there's a way we do things around here. Mm -hmm. And there's only one way we do things around here, and it's Chip's way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we all do it Chip's mm -hmm. way, starting from me to the assistants to the players. And when we all get it and we become men of Oregon mm -hmm. instead of little boys of Oregon, then things will go your way. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, that's not a comment specifically on one individual. Mm -hmm. That's the way it is. Men of Oregon, act like a man, we'll treat you like a man. You come to practice, our mantra is fast, hard, and finish. Our mantra is win the day. Our mantra is a face his opponent. We have a standard of vision of how we should play, all those kinds of things. And preparation is key. I've never seen a, a, an individual be able to play in a game very well without proper preparation. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes football a great game because it's the ultimate team game. And the guy on the left of you and the guy on the right of you, we all got to all be in sync and I got to be able to trust you, I got to be able to trust you and you got to be able to trust me. And uh, that's what makes good teams. Nick, you probably already answered this, but after, I'm okay. that, I'm, after that first touchdown, were you proud of the way your defense sort of buckled down? After almost jumping out the, the, the press box on the first drive, uh, I was very impressed on how we played, being that the only other play of any so-called explosion play of any magnitude was the communist screen that I call it, you know, the, the jailbreak screen that we completely blew up, hit an offensive lineman, and the guy that was blocking for the screen caught the ball. That's... If you can design it up that way, that's a hell of a play. I don't know how to defend that one, but we did defend it very well, but Yes, to answer your question without me getting long-winded like I just did, 217 in the, 185 on the first drive. 217 at half, 289 at the end. So we got better as the game went on. That said, are you, you feel like now you guys are ready for going to Arizona? If you can ever be ready for Tucson and, and going down there to face Nick Foles and those guys. You know, we're getting closer. Uh, I'm sure the kids feel they're ready. When you're a coach, as long as I've been, you're always trying to prepare for war in time of peace. So we're getting closer. We still have work to do, starting with me. Coach, one guy who I think is becoming a man of Oregon, Ipo Ekpreyalomo, 